Hi guys and welcome to a, another random platypus video. Um, this time it's going to be a review again. Uh, I'm just going to show you some of my sort of recent purchases and things. Some of them actually I've had for a while, but I've been busy with a uh, course in systemic family therapy. So I've been unable to do any sort of vids through studying and things. So recent order, I've stuck a few things together. Um, for the basis that they're all the same thing Morris Games Workshop. However, it is worth noting that there's two sizes of bases in here, 25s and 30. You can get the 30 through your local stockist, which is what I got, but these you have to order direct, which is why I also have an Acolyte. So I'll just, um, I'll quickly open this up and show you. So obviously the 30s are a bit bigger. And then 25s, the small ones, I've got two of those. Um, uh, but you don't care that I've got two of those, you only really want to look at the ones. And then I've got the Acolyte. Uh, obviously the Acolyte is probably the most exciting thing because bases are bases. But just to illustrate what the 25s look like. Um, sorry for the shadow, it's just later in the evening so I'm using a slightly different table to, to my normal one. So this is what I've painted them up to look like for Necromunda. Um, so yeah, there's there's variation in 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 the sets. I don't think there's a huge amount. I want to say there's about two or three different uh, variations of the base or the bases. I'm not sure on the bigger ones whether they're just enlarged versions of the small. No, they're different, which is good. Um, I know you get ten in each, I believe. One, two, three, four. Five, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep, so it's definitely ten in each box. They retail, I think they're about four quid each. Uh, at least the the smaller ones are, I believe. Obviously, we get it from your local, like I did. Hello, Garrison's in Norwich. Woo! Um, they're three fifty nine, so a little bit cheaper. But I actually think it's quite good value. Now obviously if you get from somewhere like Fenris Games you're likely to have a little bit more variation in there because that's how they work. But as you can see it does the job. I haven't massively gone dirty on one. I can do another couple of washes on that and bring it down a bit. But yeah that's that's kind of what they look like on the 25s. And then obviously the other thing you want to look at is the Acolyte. Nice little bit in the back to help you get into it these days. Uh, now this is a direct only miniature so again you can only order it direct online. Um, now I, I bought this mainly because I thought well if I'm buying the bases I'm going to see what other direct things there are to see what I want to buy really. Um, it's kind of annoying, the camera is the bit that's casting a shadow on this really. Let's have a look, see if I can get it a bit closer. So he's carrying a book. I mean, if you look online, you'll see the, the promotional pictures of it. I'm not really sure their paint jobs have done a good job on him. But it's a nice mini. He's, um, he's a slightly older sculpt, which is probably why he's metal and direct. But he's a very similar size to the, the Chaos Cultist, which is brilliant because he's going to be used in the same or similar setting, although he's Inquisition, I'm gonna maybe carve some of the more Inquisition-y bits off, like on his belt there's an eye. Just about make that out, I think. Yeah, there you go, you can see that. So little things like that that I'll, I'll try and remove. It doesn't really matter about the book, that's got an eye on it. I mean, I might just keep it as it is. He's just an acolyte wandering in the underhive um, with his weapon that I might just count as a flamethrower. So it's like a, a brazier but perhaps he levels it out. It's got, it's got. If you look down, down there, it's got like a little uh, trigger and stuff. So I'm, that's what I'm going to use it for anyway. But I thought I'd just quickly do that as a little review. Um, obviously, I'll probably put him in a lineup, and there'll be a photo at the end of this um, with him to sort of scale up against other things. And I'll try and get something like a Primaris Marine in there for you if I can find one. If not, it'll be an old school Space Marine. Right, so onwards and upwards, I've got more reviews to do, so keep an eye out, there'll be more popping up, either 
straight after this one or soon, very, very soon after it. So yeah, uh, back around and hopefully putting some more out there for you guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below or come along to the forum and join in the chat there. Cheers guys.